Welcome crafters, my name is Andy and welcome to the video. This is all about end rods and how to use them creatively in Minecraft. The first design is my design and it's a bench press. You're gonna need a couple of player heads, link in the description to a nice site which will give you some cool player heads. I've chosen these nice black cannonball ones. Now we're gonna need to build up some more grass blocks as you can see and place a couple of end rods just like that. And then a couple of armor stands, one there and one there, looking good so far. Now we're going to need um, a couple of blocks, they're going to be, I've chosen for the bench, actually white stair blocks, just like that, facing out the way, one and two, and then we're going to head to redstone land, grab some pistons, one and two, and on the other side, one and and two, I think you're gonna like this design. Watch what happens when we hit that redstone. We're gonna move the stairs and the end rods into place. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. Looking fine. And then we just add a couple of blocks and there we go. We've got our bench, we've got our bar, we've got our weights. How is that? Not bad, huh? Well, maybe I'm biased because it was my invention. Right, you've made your little living room, you've got sofa, TV, need some surround sound speakers, we've got the solution for you. Well done to Saluru who came up with this invention. You could use mossy cobblestone walls, but I think just normal cobblestone walls makes a nice speaker set. But they join to the walls, but we have the solution. If your walls are made of a block which could be stairs, then you can grab some stairs and stick them in this configuration, one facing that way and one facing that way. And from the front, the wall doesn't they join on? Isn't it cool? There's your surround sound speakers. You could put some behind the sofa as well for that 5.1 surround sound effect. Cool. The next one for those budding artists is an artist's easel. This is an invention by Noble Troll. Look, the little end rod can go halfway up and it just adds that little touch of detail to the banner and it looks like an artist's easel. Super easily, super easily done. Hmm. Never mind, bad jokes. Look, put some paint on the floor with some ores and a little pot to wash your brushes and you could be painting pictures in Minecraft and making your friends jealous. Talking to friends, did you see all the people arriving? I'm being stalked. Welcome to Scratchy. Scratchy's come up with three incredible designs. A bit of carpet, an end rod and a wooden trapdoor is all you need. What's he gonna make, guys? What is he gonna make? You're gonna like this, can you guess? Can you tell what it is? Let me see what's he doing. He's putting trapdoors on. He's putting end rods in. He seems to be going uphill. That could be a clue. Have you figured it out? They know what it is. <laughs> He's made some stairs. How cool is that? Some modern stairs with end rods and trapdoors. You need to be in 1.9 to place a trapdoor like that. But you could make them doubly wide or singly wide. And you can go up and you can go down. And you can make your houses look pretty awesome. Well done to Scratchy. The guys are going to have a go. <laughs> I love this design. This is probably my favorite out of all the designs today. Um, cool. Love it, guys. Well done to Scratchy for that first design. Brilliant. Okay, moving on to Scratchy's second design. We're going to need some carpet, some half slabs, um, a white banner, optional for this one. We definitely need some sort of fence and a bit of string. And, of course, the end rod is a video about end rods. Two end, red, two end rods, end to end. Is that how they're called end rods? Because they get placed end to end. Anyway, spam your string around the second uh, end rod, the topmost end rod. Put on your carpet on top and you've got one of those little garden umbrellas, parasols, sunshades. I'm not sure what they're called, but look, this is my idea. You could, at the side of it, to the right or behind it or beside it anyway, put another one. It looks like it's closed with some banners and that really tells people who, who are looking at your maybe your garden, your house that you've made this, it tells people exactly what it is. So they can look at the folded up one and see the one that's spread out. Okay, and the last design by Scratchy uses a half slab, a wooden trapdoor and of course the end rod and it's more of a modern design as well and he's going to use eight slabs and right in the middle can you guess what he's going to slap in there yep a little trappy door right there and it's a light a big fat modern light well it's only not fat it's kind of sleek i like it it's cool well done scratchy thank you very much for your three designs 
Aren't they brilliant? Leave some feedback in the comments about Scratchy's designs. I think it's the first time he's featured in one of my videos, so thank you very much, Scratchy. We'll wave goodbye to you. Although we might see you a little bit later on. I'm not sure. Anyway, well done, well done. Right, the next design is one of my designs, and it's a bit more advanced. You're going to need to be on a PC or a Mac, and you're going to head over to this website link in the description, and you're going to need to make this armor stand it's going to be invisible it's going to be small so check those boxes rotate it to your own desk's rotation and then mess about with the head a little bit i'm moving the sliders for the head tilting it left and right rotating it just so to get my lamp because that's what i'm making i'm making a lamp in exactly the right configuration okay so copy into your computer's memory the command on the website once you fiddled about with your orientation of your um armor stand and then grab these ingredients here you're going to need some sort of lamp player head as well again you can get player heads from the Ooh, these guys were behind me i didn't even see them there what a fright anyway so they're watching me build this lamp no pressure and they gotta get this right no mistakes no mistakes okay so in the memory is the command for the invisible small armor stand and we're going to place this invisible small armor stand right about here so go there and then control and paste in your Invisible armor stand. You're wondering where it is? Well, you kind of see it, Dafty. It's invisible. Okay, next we're going to put an end rod there and there. And this is how not to place your end rods. You don't want to place them upside down, Andy. None of the guys are helping me as well. They're just standing watching me make a mistake and fail. Look, your end rod doesn't want to be that way up either. So place a block down, stick your end rod, and then we're going to shove it. We are going to shove your end rod along a bit. Boom! And there it is. Get rid of the piston first and then the redstone block. And Bob's your uncle. We've got ourselves a pretty cool little table lamp as long as you pick your player head correctly. I'll leave that up to you. Kind of do all the work now, can I? Not bad, hey? Not bad for a little Yoda inventing that. What do you think, guys? Ah. Um, okay, Toby, there's my reward. Thank you very much. An activated roll or whatever it is. Moving on. You've got your rooms, but you want to divide them up. If you scatter your end rods about like this and in between stick some little iron bars, then I tell you what, you've got yourself a mean little flying machine of a room divider. That is good game, easy life, room divider done. Now you could replace the iron bars with some stained glass panes and that looks pretty good as well so it's your choice but it's a pretty nifty room divider i like it what is toby doing he's having his own little dance we were watching you buddy we were watching you man <clears throat> weirdo alert right next moving on this is a little plant design i got on another server it might be god crafters design i can't quite remember who made this but if i find out who made this first i will give them credit in the description otherwise i'm stealing it or we're stealing it end portal thingy whatever it is, an ender eye thingy, and then end rod. It's basically an, the end of all plant designs. I love it. Okay, gonna need some stone, white stained glass, pink stained glass, an end rod, spruce fence, a sign, and some cobwebs. Can you tell what we're gonna make? Maybe the cobwebs gave it away. Certainly this post should give it away. I think you know what this is now. Of course, it's a basketball hoop. Thank you to Saluru, who was going to build this for me, but he had to run away and take a phone call. I hope it was worth it, because you could have been in my video, man. Stick down your cobwebs, and you've got your little pure signs on the side, on the front. I don't know what I put a D on that one for. Maybe it's D for dunk. But there you go. What do you think? You've got ourselves a little basketball hoop. I am loving that design. So, we have seen basketball hoops. We have seen Scratchy and Toby and we've seen some plants and some room dividers and a cool lamp design i think that's probably my favorite though it is advanced it's a pc or a mac we have seen a big modern lamp and an umbrella thing from the garden some cool modern stairs enough said that's kind of a thing that might get you up it might get you down we've got some artists we've got some speakers i love the speakers i'm definitely going to be using them in my modern mansion which i'm building in a let's build up to episode 15 i think already just a quick reminder of how to use the stairs and we've got our weightlifting sets but i tell you what got some bonus footage for you right now we're going to show you the design lab where we've been working hard all day to come up with some ideas and I'm going to show you things that didn't quite make the top 10, didn't make the edit. We've got a little barbell there, some floating zombie heads, I'm not sure what that was about, um, more room dividers, this little shower curtain design which has um, been done before, it's been on Reddit as well that one, um, working on some more table designs, 
pretty good. I think that was Cargill. I don't know who made this, but I think it's a drill. Pretty fancy, huh? We've got awesome chandeliers. Again, nothing new there. And table designs you may have seen before. That one uses a bit of world edit. Um, what else? Got the artist's tables. Oh, this could be a shoe rack, maybe. Shoe rack, bottom of a closet. I think this banner design by Noble Troll could be working quite well and kind of a medieval map. We've got a lamp design. And again, a bit of world edit used for the double uh, levers, I'm afraid. You need some world edit to do that one. Um, so what else did we not include in the video? Although I am including it in the video. How weird is that? Um, got the speakers. Oh, got this little closet by Siluru as well. I like this. Pretty good. Might not be an original design, that one, but we love it. We love it. We love it. Okay. Um, anything else I haven't shown you? Oh, yes. These pots. Again, I'm sorry. This is going to need world edit, but they're so cool. I thought I'd show you anyway. And it's a sign. It's a sign, I tell you. Left to a giraffe. And right to the Jedi Temple, these guys' humour is amazing. But yeah, that's our little design lab. If you want to see the lab and all these designs, it's Warp Furniture on the UTB server. That's play.usetheblocks.net. But yeah, thank you so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a good thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't ready for more tutorials. And let's build in Minecraft Creative. Let me shoot. It's bouncing off the rim. Is it going to go in? Is it going to go in? No. Big fail from Yoda. Notice how when I fail, I just blame Yoda. When it's good, it's all Andy. Thanks for watching. Ciao, ciao. We the blocks. Be with you.